In this video, we're going to look at an AI tool that automatically creates and posts content for you on social media. So let's take a look at Marky. Hey there, if we haven't met yet, I'm Neil Smith, your social media guide, and I help ministries and nonprofits and small businesses and organizations of all kinds maximize social media to accomplish their organizational goals. And I, I love getting to know new software tools. And one of the tools I've been most recently introduced to is a platform called Marky. I found this platform on AppSumo. I love uh, checking out some of the AppSumo deals. And I don't know if this AppSumo deal is still around while you're watching this video, but I'm going to share everything that I have experienced so far with Marky. And I got to say, I am impressed, but there's things, some flags that I have. So let's take a look first at their website. Okay, so when you jump on the website, first thing it says is 30 days of content in five minutes. That's pretty impressive when I think about, I run a social media marketing agency and it takes us a lot more than five minutes to create 30 days of content for our clients. And then the tagline to that is, our posts get 3.4 times the engagement of industry standards. I would love to know where they're getting that stat. One of the things that I have found that marketers often do is they will just make up a random number and it's probably not just made up that, you know, there's probably some legitimacy to that with what they're, they're seeing, but 3.4 times, it's like, it's hard to argue with something that's a 3.4 or a 7.2 or a 6.7. And so yeah, 3.4 times the industry standard. So we'll see. And one of the things they do here is you could actually just drop in your website link and test it to get some posts. So go and test it. I'd encourage you, you can go to mymarkey.ai and check that out. But then you can see kind of how it works. I think they got a great little design here. It integrates here with Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, and the Google Home, Google, whatever you call the, the Google platform where you can post things uh, to, to your Google My Business account. So Practically from where most organizations are going to be present on social media, Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, TikTok are going to be your primary platforms that you're going to want to post to. So great. The other thing that they do is then they show some, some posts and, and creators that they, you know, have, have gotten used from. Now, one of the things that I see, and so one of the things I'm always looking for in marketing platforms is, are they being deceptive? Well, they show Gary Vaynerchuk. Well, he's like the social media guru. Well, this isn't Gary Vaynerchuk's platform. This is my Marky AI TikTok account with Gary V on there. And so a little bit of deception there. So I'm always looking for those flags, but you know, let's, let's keep checking it out. Let's not write it off quite yet, but uh, looking for some things. I, I do love this, like step one, set up your account to cu customize your branding, generate posts, schedule content and grow your business. Very simple. And, and I think it's what I love about the philosophy of this platform is this is simple and oftentimes for a small business, for a small organization or nonprofit, social media can feel overwhelming. I've got to set up accounts. I've got to create content, I've got to post content. I got to respond to comments and messages. It's a lot to keep up with. And so if you can make social media simple, that's a great win. So additional features to 10 X your social media accounts, color, font, logo, editing, agency, carousel stats, coming soon. You can see a lot of this is they have all this stuff and then this is all coming soon. And I did just see they actually did just integrate, create their Pinterest in integration. So what I love is seeing that it's developing, it's progressing. It's not just like, this is what it is and this is what it's always going to be. And so they have plans and they're letting you know where they're going with their platform. This leans into their value proposition. Look, they're going to save you time. They're going to save you money and they're going to increase your growth and they're using these examples from their users to share that. So cool. And then a three minute demo. This is the next thing that, that caught my attention is they're like, oh, look, you can get this plan for free. And then this plan for a dollar, this plan for a dollar. But then in small print, it's like, oh, it's actually $19 a month or it's actually $38 a month. I really don't like it when you see accounts that end up kind of like tricking you into a subscription. Now, I don't know that it's necessarily tricking, but it's it's definitely highlighting the one dollar what they do communicate is that you can do one dollar a month and then it is also billed annually in small print and so i just want to point that out as you jump into this but you know practically and and i look at even for agencies of look for an agency you could pay 164 dollars a month and have 10 clients that you're auto generating content for it's interesting and so i i, I do want to communicate we do not use this for any of our clients, at least not at this point. And uh, to be clear, I don't see a plan to use it long-term uh, for any of our clients, but it's an interesting option. 
to say the least. And they have some FAQs on here. And then, yeah, you can drop your website link again and get posts. So yeah, that's that's their website. I think it's well designed, professional. It creates intrigue. It's so well marketed, Marky. I think the marketing deceptiveness is, you know, I don't think it's over the top. I love greater transparency that builds trust for me, but I understand the, the strategy or the tactics that you're using to get people at the end of the day, just try it and see if you like it. That's what they're trying to get you to do. And I, I, I respect that. And I think if you believe in the platform, get people to use it, if they use it and they like it, they're going to stay with it or they're going to cancel. So let's log in. I've already got my account set up. So I'm going to just log right in. And so what I did is I went in and I created an account for my social media marketing agency for Amplify Social Media. And what I did is I that first connected our social media accounts. I connected our Facebook page, Instagram, X, and our, our LinkedIn account and haven't yet connected our TikTok. But we'll see, you know, as that as that develops and then uh, you can get into the branding. And so I literally just connected our website and it automatically pulled in the brand colors. It pulled in our logo right off of the website. It pulled in our default font. And then you can actually pick from these themes of do you want it to be an influencer looking theme, a carousel, and you can check and uncheck these. And so maybe I don't want to have minimalist or modern, but I want the others. And, and do you like memes or not? And I, I'm, I'm a meme fan, so I'll just save that. So that, that sets up your branding. And then you can talk about what kind of business are you? And it will autofill a lot of this, and then you can edit to help it better understand uh, what's your niche, what what's the handles, what are the calls to action that you want people to take, how what's the length of a caption sentence, uh, how much do you like doing emojis, and so this is basically teaching their AI about you to to generate content, and and then what topics do you want it to talk about? So it, it's going to give you some recommended topics, and then you can add to it and add in your website or add a new topic where you just tell it, I wanted you to talk more about this and with content and give it those topics. And then it goes right into generating posts. And so here's a post that it just auto generated for. So stop trying to and then create that. And then you can see the caption and it's like, do I want to post this or not? And I can actually go in and edit this post. And so if I want to change the text on here, I can go in and change the text or I can, you know, even adjust the graphic and make it bigger or smaller. And then if I want to change the caption, I can go and do that right there and then I can just save and close it. And so it gives me almost like a Canva like tool and then I can literally just hit schedule. And so the, what I have set up is that you basically for it to post once a day. And so we'll just add these to the last post. And so here's a little meme that it created. And so I can maybe go in here. And then if I want to change even the background color to say red, and it will do that there to the logo. Yeah. And so you, you can adjust it a little bit. It only lets you do so much, I think, here with the graphics that I'm seeing, even as I'm playing with it right now. So if I didn't like that meme, I, I would I would want to uh, adjust it and then you can actually even change that image in that way. So let's just save and close that and I'm going to leave that post up. I actually want I'm going to go in and edit this again is I don't want to drive people to call us. I'm just going to delete that call to action. And so now that's updated and that's saving and I'll just schedule that and add that in. And so Here's a post, my favorite effective strategy. I'm saying, you know what? I don't like that. Move that to trash. Here's one. They're actually using a quote from me that they're pulling in. So good. I like that. So I will schedule that. And you can just keep going and just keep scheduling. And uh, I'm going to delete that. And so you, it, it'll create all of these posts and then I'll just hit generate more posts and it'll say eight posts loading. So it will just start generating all of these posts and then you can go into this scheduled and you can see this one's scheduled to go out on April 5th. This one's April 6th, this one, April 7th. And so it's, these are all AI generated and I can move them up and down and say, you know what, I actually want this one to go out on this day and I want this one uh, to go out on another day. And or I just want to trash, you know, like this one. If you know, if you if you want to trash it, this is where I would do that. Move to trash. So you can adjust that schedule at any point and organize those posts. And so you can have it create more than one post a day. But I think one is a good amount. And then you can see even here what's been published. And so it will show you it was published to those platforms, failed to publish to Twitter, and we'll, we'll see why. 
this one actually published to Twitter and everywhere else. So let's see if we click on it, will it actually go to the post? So you can see this is that post uh, posted on Instagram. So there, there it is. All right, so I'm back in the platform. Let me actually even, I'm curious to check even any of these on LinkedIn. How did this just pop in on LinkedIn? So there it is on LinkedIn. Okay, so I wanna go back to the website and I wanna see like, does it do what it says it was gonna do? Well, 30 days of content in five minutes. Well, you could see all of those automated posts. So yeah, I, I think it does live up to that. Does it connect with all of these platforms? Yes, it does uh, connect to these platforms, premium auto-generated designs. I, I think the actual designs, pretty good for AI, fully AI generated designs. And I would say maybe even better are the captions. They're very social, you know, first and in our voice. And so I, I was very pleased with the copywriting side of it. So set up your account, customize your branding. And honestly, how easy that was scraping our website and doing it, it actually required way less time than I would have anticipated to set up a new platform like this. Generating posts about the things that we talk about. Yep. Scheduling content, super easy. Like grow your business. And I think this is a question of like, over time, does it actually accomplish your direct business goals? And so these are their additional features and what it can do. And so time saved, price savings, follower growth, you know, I think to be determined in this area. So I want to share my thoughts of, you know, do I like this? Do I recommend it? The, the reality is, is while I am testing it out and, and we'll see about the engagement growth, I don't have high expectations for it really growing our business and it really having significant engagement. I, I would say what this platform does best is create filler content for social media. And the reason why I think that's important for some brands is that you don't have a lot of time and capacity and resources to really build out an organic social media presence that's going to have significant virality. But what you do need is a social media presence that says you're still here and you're still around and you're, you know, you're not ignoring social media because sometimes you'll go to maybe a restaurant's social media account and they haven't posted in two years and you think they must be closed down. Well, the reality is they're not closed down. They just didn't have time to post on social media. And so when you can set up some automations like that, that literally take you five minutes a month to, you know, pick a few posts that it auto generates for you. You know what? I, I think it helps create some filler content. I think the other side is it can give you some good idea generation. And so maybe you go through this and let it auto generate posts and you just pick out five of those a month to use and you don't use all of them and it doesn't become your whole social media strategy, but it does become a creative support system for your social media development strategy. So all that said, I think Marky for the price is a really good tool, really impressive tool. And if this is version one, if this is kind of the initial rollout of a platform like this, it tells me this is only going to get better. And so version one, from my perspective is really good. I think it represents my brand very well as a social media marketing agency that we should be pretty good on social media. And it was able to identify that through AI really rapidly. So I think their AI is really good. I think their creative development is really good. I think their copywriting automations are really good. I think their integrations of how easy it was to connect my social media accounts and allow it to schedule to post to those platforms. I'm impressed. So for the price and for the way the tool is built in version one and for where they're saying that they're going as a platform, I'm in. I'm going to continue to tinker with it. I'm going to continue to utilize it. I don't know that I'm anywhere close to using it for actual client work, but as I get to know it, you know, maybe there will be a fit where, you know, a client can't afford our more customized services and we can provide this as an option and it would fit their brand and what their needs are. So yeah, I'm going to keep it in the toolbox. I'd recommend, you know, giving it a try. Use that free feature where you can connect your website and let it crank out a few posts for you and see what you think. So I'd recommend it. I do have, you know, just to be clear, I have a, an affiliate link to the platform in the description. So if you're interested in testing out Marky, I, I would appreciate you using my affiliate link. But, you know, yeah, just go you can go straight to mymarky.ai and use it as well. So no big gains if you sign up through my affiliate link. But if you find it valuable and you're checking it out, I'd love for you to, to give that a try. And look, I love 
where AI and social media is coming together to create efficiencies. And I think what this is going to allow us to do is focus less on the behind the scenes development of social media, focus more on the person to person social connections of social media. And so when we can get more out of the content development of social media, if it's providing valuable content that we as humans can best direct, we can then focus on the social engagement of social media that I don't like that bots integrate more into. So yeah, that's my feedback on Marky. Love to know what you think. If you used Marky, did you like, what did you not like? If you test it, I'd love to get your feedback as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll watch other videos as I have lots of different videos about social media and how to help you accomplish your goals through social media. And we'll talk to you again on the next video. Bye.